this thing up to, to Plexico here. Is he gonna try getting a guy out there? No double team. This is one-on-one -on -one coverage. The ability should work here, right? Yay. What's going on, guys? Today we have a dual gameplay with the brand new golden ticket Russell Wilson and the brand new golden ticket Plexico Burris. So let's just get started with Russell Wilson. And the first thing I want to say is this card stat wise is perfect. You guys see it 99s across the board. Do you have a theme team that Russ has played for, whether it's the Broncos or the Seahawks? 99s across all the key stats is very important. Has the Gen 3 release, so he does check off all those boxes. However, whoever made this Russell Wilson card, even he's got good carrying and a spin and a juke and all that stuff, but this card is just, I mean, he's usable, obviously, but if you're going to compare Russell Wilson to the rest of the Golden Ticket quarterbacks, he's nowhere near these guys for one reason, and that is the ability slots. I'm not sure why it's like this, but yeah, he's all strong arm. I, I didn't know it was supposed to be like this, and then I check, and it's literally like that. It's all strong arm slots over and over and over again, so... Whoever made this Russell Wilson card clearly had no idea what they were doing. Um, it could have been a, ra a random dude who really doesn't know what's going on and pulled this golden ticket and then, you know, just kind of followed the steps and uh, this card was created. But yeah, it, this card doesn't make any sense to run. Right now, his price is very expensive. At first, I was wondering why he was so expensive, but now I think I know why because no one's probably buying this card, but I still want to do a game plan on him today because... I like his stats and I think he's going to play well. It's just the ability problem. And at this point of the year, I say it a lot. You have to split hairs when it comes to, you know, ranking these cards. And yeah, this strong arm fiasco on Russell Wilson is definitely a killer. So now we have the star of the show for today's gameplay. And that is the golden ticket Plexco Burris. I've been waiting for this card for a minute. Having a Jets team, I'm probably going to end up waiting a little bit longer for his price to eventually drop. But yeah, he's ridiculous. Basically goes right to that conversation with I think I think Plexco is definitely better than Josh Gordon. Um, I think he's right in that Colin Johnson conversation. Like I really do. If you watch my last wide receiver tier list, I had Colin Johnson number one. I think Plexco's right in there. Um, you know, after the catch, he's nasty carrying, run block, route running across the board, even on my theme team, good acceleration as well. Um, so yeah, Plexico Burst is gonna be a monster, and at this point, he's probably gonna end up being the star of the show. For today's gameplay, especially with Russell Wilson having the ability problems. But yeah, let's just hop into the gameplay. Let's not waste too much time and let's see what both these golden tickets can do today. All right, here we go. Game number one. My opponent has already paused the game before even our first snap. I don't really know what. Oh, he's back. All right, he's back. All right. Yeah, so here we go. He has, I think, maybe a Dolphins team. He, ha he has Dolphins uniforms. I really couldn't tell by his top three. Actually, you know, maybe I could have because he had like Ricky Williams and he had like Devontae Adams. So maybe he did have a Miami team. But you guys know the plan at this point. It's mud in June. We all know what the plan is here. Feed Russ or get Russ to feed Plesco Burris, but not force it too much like I normally would in a traditional wide receiver gameplay. And um, yeah, that's all we're going to do. That's all we're going to do. We know the drill at this point. Flip it like that. Can we do this? Is this going to work the way I want it to? I think we're on the wrong hash, so... What we'd want is him coming from the right to the left. With the route tech and the deep out on Plexico, this should work. Okay, here we go. Motion over Brandon Marshall. Streak him, block him, block Zonka, and then put Vic on. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Okay, this is not going to work the way I want it to. We're going to we're gonna have to do a little freestyle in here. Call hike. There we go, Russ. Okay. See, guarding anything. He's not. Plus, going to get open. And Russ, no fearless is a little bit scary, but we are going to get open here. Uh, plus, go Burris for his first D of the day. And I've been saying this, and I, I think we've been doing dual wide receiver quarterback gameplays for, you know, you know, the last couple of weeks. But at this point of the year, any receivers getting open on that with, you know, deep out and route tech. So there's no real surprise there, but you guys can at least see Plesko's build, Russ's release from the pocket. But again, you've probably seen all these things. Um, again, it's June. You know what I mean? We've seen the Gen 3 deep release. And this week has been absolutely brutal for the Madden 22 life cycle. I mean, the game was basically already, I mean, for me, I've kind of noticed it being a slower year um, than in years past at this point of the year, you know, a couple months ago, maybe a month ago or so, two months ago. 
but it's, it's been a bad week for the Madden 22 life cycle. However, however, Madden 23 got a bunch. What was that? But Madden 23, we got a bunch of news. I really didn't talk about it in a video, so I thought let's talk about it right now. Um, the beta came out. I played one game of the beta. I usually don't play too much of the beta. I don't really like doing it, especially when the other game is still out and I still got to make videos on it. I'm uh, mainly because I don't like getting used to things that I can't have in, in you know, Madden 22. But it, it did feel better. Uh, I think it definitely felt faster, the gameplay, as well as um, there not being warp tackles, which I really like. If you watch my videos, you know that I'm, I hate the warp tackle, and I, I didn't really notice too many warp tackles, if any, but definitely game speed a little bit faster for me, I noticed. Um, hopefully that stays. Um, some new tackle animations. Uh, I still gotta play around with that new, whatever that new um, that new pass lead stuff is. Still gotta play around with that a little bit. Um, as well as, I tried celebrating at one point and I couldn't, but there's like a new like precision, like ball carrier modifier where you hit this back button here, which is normally celebrate, so. That's definitely going to take some getting used to, but I mean, overall, I'm not going to get my hopes up for this year's game. I I'm not, and I advise you guys to do the same. Um, I mean, we're, we're kind of stuck on this engine. I know, I know some, some of us want, you know, a more competitive experience, but if you're a guy like me, I want, I just want a fun game. That's all I ask for. I just want a fun game for Madden 23, but we're kind of stuck on this engine um, where they're trying to make it more realistic. I'd rather have, you know, a game more like Madden 20 where... You know, players move faster. Maybe the stick in the movement isn't as realistic, but I'd rather have a game like that than a game where it feels like I'm moving in quicksand every single time. If you like, if you go back and watch, you know, Madden 20 clips compared to, you know, Madden 22, you you'd be you'd be insanely shocked, honestly. Like you'd be shocked how fast you'd think the gameplay was actually sped up. But I mean, looking back, I mean, at this point of the year, what you want is just to have fun. You know what I mean? And it's just tough watching this just this the same slow stale gameplay with the same exact animations over and over and over and over again but hey that's just my opinion i mean as long as they you know fix the game speed a little bit and and, and i guess get rid of the warp tackle it'll make the game feel feel a lot more organic and i i guess i can't think of the right word but i guess like the unique's the right word from play to play because i mean you, you guys have if you if you're watching this video you've been playing the game all year and I'm sure you've seen a warp tackle animation at least 800 times. If, you, if you've been playing the game a good amount, I mean, probably more than that, actually. Uh, yeah, probably more than that, but yeah, definitely more than that. The warp tackle animation it has just been, it's, it's, it's a brutal thing for sure, but we're going to give this guy this, we're going to give this guy this touchdown and uh, we're going to get back on offense with Russ and Plexico. I did a lot of talking there. I'm sorry, but I had to get some stuff on my chest. All right, here we go, back on offense. And I guess another cool thing about Russ is the speed. I would imagine that Derrick Henry is gonna have probably 98 speed, if not 99 speed on his card. I feel like they're really sitting on Derrick Henry right now, just waiting. I guess that card's gonna create some hype for them, which makes sense, I think it will. I feel like maybe a couple people will definitely get back on the game just to give him a try. That was a really bad pitch from Russ, but we actually are gonna get a good carry. We all know what Zonka does, man. Zonka's a different breed for sure. But yeah, I still cannot believe whoever made this Russell Wilson card. I, I don't know. First of all, I was confused why he was even given a golden ticket. I mean, I guess if you're a big Russ fan, you you would make that card, right? But there's Plesko again down the sideline. We're going to score this. But dude, it's been kind of easy on offense. I'm not going to lie. But, but yeah, speaking of the Madden 22, you know, life cycle, I do still think we're going to get some more content. Originally, like I was kind of on this roller coaster because there was... You know, some rumors of the game coming out late July. They're not true. The game's coming out. Or Madden 23 is coming out. Um, I think August 19th, I believe it is, which I think was the same date as it was last year. But, or maybe close to it. I think it was something like that. It was definitely late August. But, hey, I'm not sure why EA doesn't drop this game late July. The game comes out broken every year anyway, so you might as well drop the game earlier. You know, people are out of school. It's the summer. I feel like the numbers will be much better if the game was in its prime in the summer. I mean, look at Madden 20, for example. You know the the uh everyone was in the, everyone was uh, in quarantine and then yeah we all know what happened to Madden 20 it, it, it was a great it was a great experience for everyone but anyway what, what was i saying what i was saying was for the madden 20 uh life cycle or madden 22 life cycle i think we have to get power up expansions especially with the game now coming out again you know late august um we gotta get power up expansions there's really no way that we don't i mean I, I'd be very surprised if we don't get power of expansion. That's what I'm going to say. There are so many cards that need upgrades. Um, if not another promo, I think power of expansions makes sense. 
but um again this madden 23 news coming out you know the, you know the trailer the beta all these things i guess does lower the odds of that i guess it was kind of a surprise for us um because we didn't know that was going to happen this week but still I, I i do believe um there's got to be more content outside of golden tickets ultimate legends i don't think every week's going to be you know friday you know golden tickets and then saturday uls i doubt every weekend's like that there's that little skip dude like i'm telling you these six five receivers these six five six four six six receivers with, with, with these good stats is broken like they shouldn't have stats like this you know what i mean there's no six five receiver that has a 99 spin with you know good juke good carrying like that shouldn't exist in this game they should move more clunky and it feels weird because they give these taller guys different animations and we're gonna roll out here oh i don't know why i did that that was stupid don't have a skate artist why well, i was gonna get wide open he's just running stock cover too and i oh he saw it oh you oh he actually saw it get me a first okay and is he running six i just noticed he's running six one i think we should get we should be able to have plus go again Jay, oh my Jay, this is it's just too this is like too easy of a gameplay it feels like and like i said russ can still put this work in like russ can still be a really good card in this game just the only issue is the ability slots we're trying to low ball b here acrobat's gonna light up he's not have acrobat clearly and so while we are on defense let's do the emoji of the day um it's kind of been a longer video it feels like so far for where we are in this game but um that's my ball um he, he might quit but let's do the let's do the dolphin emoji we are playing um e dirty from the 305 so let's do the dolphin emoji um shout out e dirty let's see if he stays or not but uh yeah if you if you did survive me talking uh for a minute i mean i didn't post that many videos this week so i, I kind of got a lot of talking to do which is <laughs> i guess unfortunate if you don't really care what i have to say which is probably a good amount of the people but um yeah i mean i got a lot of talking to do let's try throwing this thing up to, to plexico here is he gonna try getting a guy out there no double team this is one-on-one -on -one coverage the ability should work here right ea and it does okay all right this is this was a really i don't even know what the, i think like we were barely on offense besides that one like failed drive like it, yeah i don't know i i don't really know what to say about what just transpired all right guys so that is going to do it for the plesco burris and russell wilson gameplay just like in the intro let's get started with russell wilson so russell wilson don't buy this card that's all i gotta say about him just don't buy him don't you don't want russell wilson on your team even if you have a Seattle or a Broncos team, I don't care. Do not buy Russell Wilson. The card is not a golden ticket. He's a strong arm quarterback. He's a basic, he's literally just a 99 overall strong arm. Yeah, he can make throws and roll out and he's got good speed. Wow, that's cool. But don't touch him. Don't buy Russell Wilson. Plus, go Burst on the other hand, is a card that is a top two receiver in the game. I would still say Colin Johnson is better, but again, we're splitting hairs when it comes to these cards. Plus, go Burris is truly that guy. And, you know, outside of a theme team, I don't believe he does get that plus two acceleration. But, yeah, I mean, if you have strat cards, he's going to get 99 speed regardless of theme team. But still a six foot five, 230 pound receiver with 99 run block. He's top two. You know, he's a really good card. So, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And, uh, yes, as always, I will see you boys in the next one.